It's almost halfway through 2025, and Airbus seems to be buzzing with news about new aircraft projects. An A320neo replacement, a larger and more distinctive A220, and most notably, a longer A350, are also in Airbus sights. Will the new widebody, the A350-2000, outperform the 1000 and be as successful as the 900? Why is Airbus putting it on the map now? Find out in today's episode. The latest commercial aircraft to enter service, the Airbus A321 XLR, was also just officially launched into the Iberia fleet at the end of 2024. Up to now, only more than half a year has passed since that moment, but Airbus seems to be unable to wait any longer, hastily preparing to enter a new chapter with the next projects. The question is, why is there such a rush? What is motivating them to accelerate in an industry known for its caution and long development cycles? Many experts believe that this is the golden time to launch a new step when the aviation market is at a crossroads, full of challenges, but also full of opportunities. Looking at the current picture, when talking about the most prominent names when discussing the next generation of commercial aircraft with outstanding flight capabilities, impressive fuel efficiency, and large passenger capacity, the Boeing 777X is certainly not out of the conversation. Expected to follow in the footsteps of the legendary 777 line, it is designed to become the top choice for airlines that are eager to find an optimal solution for operating costs, especially in the context of increasingly heavy pressure to reduce carbon emissions. However, that dream was quickly slowed down by a series of unnecessary problems. Initially, the 777X was expected to officially launch in 2020, a milestone that was once awaited with great expectations. However, a series of technical problems and failed tests have caused that schedule to be repeatedly delayed. Although Boeing has now set the delivery date at the end of next year, uncertainty still covers the entire program. The aircraft has encountered many serious problems, from structural failures during durability testing engine-related troubles to the most recent incident, a serious technical error at the connection point between the engine and the wing. This is an extremely high safety error, forcing Boeing to suspend all test flights of the jet. Fixing it requires not only time, but also huge financial resources, because it requires redesigning a key part of the aircraft's structure. All certification plans, which have reached the type inspection authorization stage, are now almost completely stalled. The approval process, which has been laborious in the context of the FAA's increasingly strict standards after the 737 MAX incident, is now even more difficult. Of course, this is not only difficult for Boeing, but also makes major customers such as Emirates, Lufthansa, or Qatar Airways restless. In this context, it is not surprising that Airbus is starting to make moves. With a clear gap in the market, a significant shortage of new aircraft in the long-range widebody segment, Airbus's strategic moves may not be hasty, but opportunistic. On the other hand, if the newest Boeing jet is a quick success in testing and certification for commercial service, wouldn't Airbus also need a powerful weapon to counter it? Developing a completely new aircraft is a long-term and risky undertaking, so building on a successful aircraft like the A350 is still a safer option. So in both cases, whether the 777X goes well or not, this is still a good time for Airbus to gradually sketch out good ideas for the A350-2000. So how will Airbus upgrade to a new excellent version? But before going into the answer, if you are new, leave a like and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you will be the first to see our videos. Now let's continue. Airbus appears to be planning a clever, but bold, move. Stretching the A350-1000 fuselage by about 4 meters, creating a potential variant that is informally known as the 2000. With this adjustment, Airbus could add about 40 economy seats, boosting passenger capacity significantly without sacrificing too much in terms of performance or operating costs. This is not simply a technical upgrade, it could also be a strategic turning point, helping Airbus gain market share from Boeing, as its rival struggles with a series of problems in the 777X program. What makes the 2000 concept so appealing is not its sophistication, but its simplicity of design thinking. Take something that is already good and make it even better. The 1000 is one of the world's most advanced aircraft, renowned for its reliability, fuel efficiency, and long-range capability. 
By extending the fuselage while retaining the same wing structure, flight control system, engines, and landing gear, all of which have been optimized and certified, Airbus can avoid the complex and costly processes that typically accompany new development programs. Rather than spending decades designing, testing, refining, and certifying, Airbus can leverage its existing technical infrastructure, significantly reducing time to market. And in a game where time is of the essence, launching faster means seizing opportunities first, especially as demand for efficient wide-body aircraft rebounds post-pandemic. Airbus is also looking to a green aviation future, where efficiency is measured not only in economic terms, but also in sustainability. On its official website, Airbus states that it aims to develop a next-generation, low-emission aircraft using advanced materials such as lightweight composites, bio-based fibers, and environmentally friendly plastics, revolutionary design approaches from aerodynamics, wing shapes, to folding wingtips and repositioning engines are aimed at maximizing efficiency and minimizing environmental impact. The visions are always rosy, but will the process go smoothly? Given the current situation, Airbus has an advantage that not all competitors have, the availability of resources, infrastructure, and especially the experience accumulated over decades of developing modern wide-body aircraft. This lays a solid foundation for the launch of the A350 extension project. One of the key factors that helps Airbus confidently enter this game is that they have just completed the XLR program, the world's longest range narrow body aircraft. This event not only marks a technical success, but also frees up a large number of engineers, experts, and senior personnel, those who were directly involved in designing, testing, and putting the XLR into commercial operation. Instead of having to re-recruit or retrain the team, Airbus can immediately transfer the experience, resources, and design thinking from the XLR to the A350-2000, a smooth, efficient, and time-saving transition. Not only that, Airbus is also actively developing the freighter version of the A350 family. It is worth noting that there are many significant similarities between the freighter and passenger versions of the A350 in terms of airframe design, structural systems, engines, and flight control components. Thanks to that, any technical improvements, experimental data, or manufacturing methods tested and perfected during the development of the freighter can be reused or even upgraded for the 2000 without having to start from scratch. This architectural similarity creates a huge advantage. Airbus can significantly shorten the design, testing, and certification cycle while reutilizing the already optimized supply chain and manufacturing processes. But with every opportunity comes challenges. A key obstacle in the engine system has suddenly become a concern. Currently, the entire A350 family, including the A350-1000 variant, uses the Rolls-Royce developed Trent XWB engine. However, when placed in the context of the larger version, which has a higher takeoff weight and needs more thrust to maintain performance, the Trent reveals a significant weakness. The engine's fan size is still relatively limited compared to competitors, especially the GE9X. Fan size is a factor that directly affects thrust efficiency and bypass ratio, two technical parameters that play an important role in the overall performance of a modern jet engine. An engine with a larger fan allows more air to be drawn in and pushed out without burning more fuel, thereby improving fuel efficiency and reducing noise. The XWB, which is optimized for the A350-1000, is unlikely to be able to meet the increased payload and lengthened fuselage requirements of the 2000 variant. Without appropriate upgrades, this could become a bottleneck in the entire project, directly affecting technical feasibility as well as actual operational efficiency. However, Airbus and Rolls-Royce are not passive players in this race. On the contrary, Rolls-Royce is actively researching upgrade solutions for the Trent XWB platform through the integration of advanced technologies from the Ultrafan program, an ambitious new generation engine project of the company. So it can be seen that despite the difficulties, the reason for Airbus to develop the 2000 version is clear to see. And if all goes according to plan, the new narrow body jet could be a key factor in Airbus's consolidation of its lead in the race to shape the next generation of global aviation.